Hi, I'm Rick, and this is an AncientChess.com presentation. We're talking about Indian chess sets, chessmen of India. Now let's look at what we have here. First thing you're going to want to know is, what's up with this board? It's, it's like not a board, it's made out of cloth, it's got lines, they're kind of fancy, it's got little X's uh, in various places, and they're not checkered. This is the traditional chessboard of India. This style has existed long before our checkered board that it became popular in Europe. It's, it was originally called an Ashtapada. I don't really know how to pronounce very well the um, Sanskrit language, but it looks like that on, when it's written in our characters, Ashtapada. And um, these little squares here, nobody's really sure exactly what they indicated. It said that this board used to be for a race game, sort of like um, snakes and ladders or shoots and ladders, you know, where you go back and forth and try to get to the other end of the board, but with no shoots and no ladders. It does have these X's, but as I said, we don't know what they do. At some point, it was used for chess, and it still is today. Of course, in India, they have chessmen just like uh, we have in the rest of the world. That was a European style that spread around the world due to colon colonization and um, Ch India still makes the best chess sets pretty much in the world uh, for most purposes. Here's a, an example of an Indian chess set. Um, it's got a little bit of Indian styling but you can see it's really just a Staunton design which is of course European. This is a very nice one with uh, beautifully carved knights and uh, made of rosewood. If you get a really good wooden chess set just about anywhere on any of the popular chess sellers, it's almost certainly going to be made in India. There's a few made in different countries, but uh, the ones in India are making the best quality at the best prices, so they're pretty much everywhere now. But let's talk about the Indian style of design. Now in India, the chess pieces are a bit different. The king is a king, okay, no problem with that. We know what kings are, they're kings, they're the boss, they're the main piece of the game. However, instead of a queen, they've got a minister, a king's advisor. And if you talk to somebody from India about chess, they speak very good English, and they'll call this piece a minister. They'll call this piece a minister, because that is what it is in India, in the Indian language. And India has a very long chess history, longer than ours, so uh, they call it that, and so it is. Now the bishop in the Indian game is, I don't know if you can recognize this type of head, it's a camel. Camel instead of a bishop. Then they've got a knight a horse, which is the same just about anywhere in the world. And the rook in the Indian set is an elephant. That's kind of interesting because an elephant was the bishop in the form of chess that came to Europe. Of course, it became all different things when it got to Europe, but in India, for many centuries, it has been the rook. The rook is an elephant. Now, I'll just basically show you a few different examples of that. These are wooden pieces that are carved and then painted. These are in green and red. Another example of this very commonly you see a full figure. Here's a king. This is a very large one, by the way. A king carved in wood and painted in detail. This has the interesting characteristic of each piece in this set is hunting a tiger. So you see the king's riding along and he just happens to be spearing a tiger in the mouth. Apparently that's the way to get them. So each piece here is showing his virility by killing a tiger as he goes. The counselor, the uh, king's um, king's assistant, the minister is also, of course, spearing a tiger. Now, riding on an elephant like this with one of these rigs called a howdah is possibly the first form of chessmen because the early Islamic pieces seem to be simplifications of that basic shape and you can still find many variations of that full figure, kings and queens riding on elephants. 
and in a set like this you'll also have knights riding on horses whoops I'm sorry this fellow's riding on a camel this is obviously riding on a horse you'll have riders on elephants just smaller versions of riders on elephants these are the rooks whereas these are the royalty and you'll have little guys as foot soldiers and even these foot soldiers are yes spearing a tiger because that's just what they do we don't do that anymore because we value the tigers that are remaining in the wild here's another example these guys are seated kings the king and uh, let's see they're the advisor of this guy the minister is like this now these guys are kind of fun they're removable parts are like little action figures they're actually carved and painted and everything but the king comes out of his throne and not during the game but you know he can he's got a little sword he carries with him the uh, minister here has a sword he can carry it in either hand uh, but he that that hand is generally used for a spear which is another alternative they've got spears they can carry it's a fun little set I know you co just collectors who get fancy things like this are very sophisticated in taste but at heart you love your little action figures and that's why you gotta have a set like this little guys with little weapons isn't that neat along with this set come very handsome on pedestals horses for knights camels for bishops and say it together with me elephants for rooks let's look at a few more examples there's just so many ways that this set can come um, quite straightforward here's a kind of little um, Reminds me of those Russian dolls that go one inside the other, but these do not open up. They're just that shape. Little bundles of a king and the minister. A little bundle of a... That's a knight. This is a camel. got to watch that if you're not used to seeing those animals a lot. A horse head looks like that. A camel's head looks like that. Okay, got it? No confusion about an elephant's head. And the little guys, of course, are the pawns. Here's a very handsome set. This is carved of stone. Here's two examples. And um, you notice they have slightly different styles, particularly the, uh, the ministers are very different styles. This guy just has a you know, modern, handsome haircut. This guy has an old school um, headdress kind of helmet thing going on here. Very nice, very finely carved. I don't know how well you can see this in the video, but beautiful solid black stone, solid white stone. Here are the camels, which are bishops. Here are the knights, which are horses. And here are the rooks. Here's a rook, which is a elephant. Pawns often uh, show the two the two styles of the different sides here you have just like the ministers the handsome guy haircut on one side the old school beanie on the other let's see um, one more thing I'd like to show you uh, in this regard is this is a beautiful set here let's see if you agree with me. There's the king and the minister. You see these are very detailed. Now they, these are very shiny as you see and that's because they are made out of synthetic ivory. Of course, you know, a few years back a set like this would have been made out of elephant ivory and much suffering was caused by that trade. Fortunately now that trade is banned and a German company has invented this synthetic material which is very much like ivory. It's in many ways identical to ivory and it's well it's beautiful, it's solid, shines beautifully and carves very well. These pieces are carved. They're taken from 
um, synthetic ivory stalks and carved just as ivory from animals would have been in the bad old days. Here, let me show you something. Here are the elephants. Beautifully detailed. The horses. Horse again. Um, you know, I'll let's set these guys up. Here we go. And a bunch of pawns. A whole bunch of pawns over here. Beautiful little guys. They're like little jewels, really. I don't know how you, uh, how much the substance of these conveys in the video here, but these are very beautiful pieces. And of course, a uh, playing surface like this is made for a glistening set such as this. Let's just look at those green ones. One more thing I'd like to show you, because this is going kind of back to the Western style. Here, let's set these guys back a bit. Let me show you something else. Here's a modern set made in a very lovely Indian design. These are solid brass. Lovely little objects to hold in your hand here. King and queen. Now you see this is not a typical queen, however, I mean king. Uh, however, in many styles of chess, the Staunton design had a little ball on top like that. Um, but this is very obvious to the modern player. Bishop, not entirely like a bishop, but wouldn't be mistaken. King, queen, bishop. Especially since the knight is, of course, a knight. That's a beautiful piece. Solid brass also, of course. The rooks are clearly modern western style rooks. Pawns. Little guys. Sort of like the bishops but obviously the smallest piece on the board. Very lovely. The dark side is the same material, brass, oxidized to make it black. A little bit of that brass glistening through on the edges. So that's what I've got to show regarding Indian chess sets. I'd like to mention that the um, current world champion of chess is Indian. Many people believe that India was the birthplace of chess, although um, it's hard to prove anything along those lines because it was so long ago that chess first came to being and it spread all over the world before it was written about. However, this is certainly representative of a very ancient history and perhaps the original design of Chessmen itself. Thanks very much. This is ancientchess.com. If you enjoy this video, or even if you just want to be nice, please click the like button on YouTube to show that you like it. That helps promote the video. And um, check out our other videos. We've got a whole lot. Go directly to ancientchess.com and you'll see what we have to offer.